welcome to this video in this video we are going to look on summarize with filters as you all know summarize will actually aggregate the values and summarize it in your new table or you can keep it as virtual table but here we are going to filter the summarize and we are going to get the particular dimension from the dimension table and particular field from the dimension table and we are going to display it in a table. So here is the way how we are going to create it. We have a product category and we have product subcategory, but we need to get the table only for product category and the value of furniture from the product category and we need to display it. We need to get the table of. So how we can do that, of course, with summarize method, you can get the summarize of product category and with product subcategory and shades. How we are going to, when we create a filter in that, we will be able to get the result which we want to get. So where we need to get give the filter is, in summarize, there is a table you need to give. In that table, you need to filter the table. So you need to give this filter in this table. So it will be like summarize. And here we are going to apply the filter condition. And then we are going to group the box. So we'll be able to achieve this furniture sales. So as you know, summarize, it returns a summary table for the group totals over a set of groups. And filter, it returns a table that represents a subset of another table of expression. So we are having a data set that we are having a calendar and we are having category. And in that category, we are having product and its subcategory. And we are having the fact table orders where we are having the sales. The model is like this, orders, and we are having a category and calendar as dimension. So before we start, we need to see whether values which we are getting is correct or not. So first, we are going to create, select this table, and we will select the product category, product subcategory, and then we are going to give the sales. We are not going to create the measure for sales, just we are going to track the sales and do it. So from this table, we need only this furniture and what are sort out all subcategories are there in this furniture and we need to get this result in a summarized way. So to check whether it is correct or not, we will place a slicer here also. And in that slicer, we will select the product category. Of course, we got this product category slicer. And here also in this way, we can check it. And that we will select the furniture and this is the end result we are going to achieve through summarize filter method. So for that, we are going to create a new table. So just select on this table. And this new table, we are going to give the name as furniture product category equals to we are going to write the summarize method summarize and we are here we need to give the table table name is category table what all things we need to group we need to first group it by product category and second we have to group it by product subcategory and we need to give the name for sales and we will give it as total sales furniture sales and here we are going to give the expression expression will be sum of sales order sales so this table we are going to get it and we will select that and we'll we will select that summarize in a in another table we will show the visualization of that new table which we have created using summarize method and here we are going to select the product category product subcategory and furniture sales but see when you see we are, we are getting the similar table we have the did not filter usually for summarize when we write it won't filter it will be giving the exact same table like other this product category table but we don't want this we need only this furniture so we need to edit the query which we have written and we need to display it only to get this furniture so we will select this table itself and here we have this parameter this is a table so here we are going to change this table and we are going to filter this table so you can write the filter function here so we will write the filter function here filter and the table name table name is uh, category and the filter expression we need to give that filter expression will be product category you can write it as e plus furniture but we will write is in furniture because if you want to use another value you can just put a comma and you can append it here we draw the filter function here 
we have filtered the table which we are going to summarize it and we have filtered it with respect to furniture and then we are going to summarize the entire thing so we will see whether it is working we have entered it and we got the furniture table and if you want to check it you can just click on here here it is without any summarize method so you can select here and check the exact table we are getting here so that makes it correct the way which we summarized the table with filter hope you can use this function for more useful applications have a nice day